Hi, everyone. Welcome to our presentation on why Aspen Discovery is right for your library. So welcome to the Bywater Solutions booth. Here at Bywater Solutions, we support libraries um, all across the country and actually internationally. And today we're going to be talking about Aspen Discovery, which is an open source discovery layer that your library can use. The number one goal with Aspen Discovery is to essentially bring all of your resources into one place. So what that means is when I go to that catalog to search for something, traditionally I would get everything that's available at the library, books, DVDs, uh, maybe some audiobooks that you have available in the system. But with Aspen Discovery, you can take all of those amazing resources that you have available at your library. So think about your genealogy collection. Think about your databases that you have available online. Think about Creative Bug, where your users are going out and learning how to make um, amazing things and watching these short little videos. Think about the wonderful events that you have available at your library, whether they're online or they're in person. Now, when your users search in Aspen Discovery, we're bringing all of those results into one place. So let's take a look at why Aspen Discovery is right for your library. So the first library we're gonna show you here is Darien Library in Connecticut. As you can see from this first page of their library catalog, they are highlighting some amazing categories. This is what Aspen Discovery calls browse categories. This allows your users to come in and kind of scan what's available at the library. You know, as users, we see this everywhere we go, whether we have a subscription to Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus, as a user, we can go in there and browse for topics. Um, and Aspen Discovery gives your users that same curated collection that they can go through. So you'll see in this first highlight, they're talking about what's new at the library. So the user can actually come in, they can navigate through new books. Um, if they like large print, they can come in and check those titles out, magazines, DVDs, and audiobooks. And this is the way for them to view that information all at once. So if I come in here and maybe I'm interested in um, looking at a particular title, The Creative Gardener, when I click on that, it will show me a quick description, the type of format that's available, and essentially where that item is at. If they want additional information, they can jump right in and find that. So this is a nice way for them to essentially find exactly what they're looking for. Now, these topics can be curated by staff both by a search and by the creation of a list. One that I always like to talk about is the New York Times list. Uh, this is an API that's actually pulling in real time results from the New York Times bestseller list. So guess what? You don't have to curate those lists by yourself. <laughs> um, so it's gonna save you and your staff some time. So again, let's say I'm interested in this James Patterson's 22 seconds. If I click on that, again, it's gonna show me if that's available, if it's checked out or any more. Same thing, let's take a look at Midnight Library. Now, this is where I'm gonna talk a little bit about what we refer to as ferberization or the grouping together of multiple formats. What Aspen Discovery will do is instead of showing you separate records for each one of those books, large print, audiobook, e-audiobook, e-book, Kindles, whatever you have available, it's going to group those all together. So now your user doesn't have to think about, oh, let me scroll through and look for that audiobook. I can come right in here and say, you know what? I'm getting ready to go on a long road trip. I'm going to place that on hold. And they can do that right from this interface. The other big perk is that your e-content providers are integrated right in there. So if your user signs in, they can check them right out from OverDrive or Cloud Library or Hoopla. How amazing is that? Yeah. Again, another goal of Aspen Discovery, making it easy for your users to discover things. Okay, let's take another look here. This is Montgomery County Public Libraries in Maryland. And again, you'll see right on that first screen, we can see all of those uh, wonderful resources that are available. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how the search works. So if I come in here and I start typing, you'll notice that it gives me predictive text. So how many of us are so used to Google and going in there searching for something and Google is telling us right away, like, what are we looking for, right? Exactly, so 
this is a nice way if you forget what that author's name is or you can't remember the exact title, you can come right in here and find that information. So again, another reason why Aspen is right for your library, making it easy for your users. So as we come in here again, we can see that particular title. We have facets over on the left-hand side, which allow us to narrow down our search. So whether we're looking for a particular e-content collection, maybe we really love the Libby app and we wanna download via OverDrive, or maybe we're looking for something particular, adult or juvenile, we can narrow that down. At the top, you're also going to see formats. Now, this is a chance where I'm gonna to talk to you about the mobile responsiveness of Aspen Discovery. Again, another reason why it's right for your library. They can both view Aspen Discovery from their phone or even download the app from Google or Apple. Yes, yes. And the app is included with Aspen Discovery. So again, making it really easy for your users. I know. So now let's take a look here again at this format. One of the nice perks again, as you'll see, it will also show us if it's on a list. So we can see that this is on the New York Times bestseller. We wanna again, make this as easy as possible for our users. Now, when I jump into the detailed view of this record, we're going to see a little more information. I can see those titles and formats that are available. I can see a description. I can see some other titles that are similar to this. So maybe if I really loved people we meet on vacation, it'll give me suggestions for <laughs> other titles that are available. And then of course, at the bottom, we'll even see tie-ins from those third-party products that you subscribe to. So whether it's Symdetics or Novelist, you'll be able to see that information right away in the catalog. So again, it's making it really easy for your users to discover different authors, different titles, different series. All right, now we are going to jump into one last example here. And this is the Uinta County Library in Utah. And one of the great things about the Uinta County Library is their integration with all of the resources that are available um, at their library. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do a search for Quilter. And you'll notice again, it's gonna give me that predictive text, whether it's a title or an author or a series, um, it's gonna find that information, maybe it's a subject heading, and then it allows me to begin that search. Once I hit that search button, it's gonna bring back a list of results in the system. So again, the first one I see an e-magazine from Overdrive, I see the Quilter's Apprentice, which shows me all of the formats that are available. And then we're gonna get down to this explore more section. So another reason why Aspen is right for your library is your user is not only seeing what's in that traditional catalog, but now they're seeing all of the events that are going on at your library, maybe a website um, feature or page that's on your library website, uh, maybe a list that you've created in the system, maybe some digitization or some metadata from a project that you have available online, or even some genealogy. So this is a nice way for them to explore that information. You'll see on this first one, um, there's an event on June 30th, on June 30th for quilters at the library. That actually takes us out where we can see the event, where it's at, we can see it's in the downstairs conference room, and we can see that very easily from that search. If we go back one page, you'll notice the next one is quilting at the library. Now this is a page that they've actually created in Aspen Discovery using the Aspen Web Builder um, to tie in classes going on at the library, looking for your next quilt pattern. I'm gonna have to tell my daughter about this. <laughs> and then any type of fictional books that are available. So again, just an amazing way for them to discover that information. I can easily hit that back button and jump into um, other results. Here, if I quick click on that quilting fiction, you'll see this is a beautiful list that they've created all about quilting at the library. We'll go back one more and we'll talk about these last results. So with the integration of Aspen Discovery and any of your outside sources for let's say photos or a digitization project, this is an example here where you can see the Uenta Library has connected to their collections at the State Library, which is hosted by the University of Utah. And this is bringing in some digital archival information. I can see the metadata, I can see the contents, and it's showing right within that search. So again, it's making it super easy for your users to find exactly what they're looking for.